Welcome to Ellis B. Feaster's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Of bed, that's what we said. Get your butt out of bed. Your boss just told you if you're late one more time, you just might be standing on the unemployment line. Now I know you look funky and your eyes are all red, but get your butt. I said, get your butt. Get your butt. Let's roll out of that rack. The weekend is almost here. It is 8.07, Orlando. A breakfast bunch at BJ. What a And a fine, fine hour of entertainment on tap of the BJ 105 Breakfast Bunch. Coming up next, our Gold for Gold contest. Chance for you to win a BJ 105 gift certificate from the Golden Diamond Source. Also, information on how you can spend a week in Hawaii with George Michael. Bill, as far as the weather is concerned, good news and bad news. Good news, it's clearing. Bad news, it's getting cooler. Down to 62 at the beaches, 64 at BJ 105. Radio, the Breakfast Bunch, BJ 105, Bill Cross with my cohorts in comedy and plutziness, Alan Spector, Karen Sheldon in the News Nest. 11 minutes past the hour of 8 o'clock on what should be kind of a brisk and bracing, bracing attitude adjustment Thursday. It's cooling off. The temperature's been dropping all morning as the rains clear away. We're now down to 62 at the beaches, 64 at BJ 105. Wishing happy birthday today to Bobby Fischer. Former chess grandmaster Tom Schultz, the leader of Boston, turns 41. Prince Edward. Mm-hmm. That's the one married to Fergie, right? No, that's uh, Andrew. Andrew. And Fergie, isn't oh, this, it? This, then Edward's the one that's not married yet. He's the young guy. The playboy. Is still it? eligible. Yeah. Okay, he's 24. Very eligible. And Dean, Dean Torrance of Jan and Dean, 47 years old today. And Bill, this is a very important date in history. Hmm. It was on this day, March 10th. 1876, telephone anniversary day. Yes, Alexander Graham Bell transmits the first telephone message. Mr. Watson, would you please stop using the phone on company time? Oh, Alan. <laughs> yes, March 10th, 1876, you are there. Thank you so much for that, Alan. Very insightful comment. Anytime. And I did call you a totally terpugoid at the end of the last newscast, and yeah. apparently one of your, well, actually your fan, I think, has called in here. Hi. I don't think Alan's a total terpugoid. I'm sorry. I just don't believe it. Not not a total terpugoid. Well, how about... Total terpugoid. How about three, three quarters of a terpugoid? No, no, I'm going to tell you, I think that he's more terpendicular. Terpendicular? I think he is. Yeah. I think he's a real terpendicular. He's a real terpendicular person. I think so. Well, we're getting into today's language, so yes. I just threw out a big word that I knew. Okay. Hey, how'd you like a taste of my weed whacker? You know, Alan will oh, never be... gas powered. Alan will never be fly, either. <laughs> just Did like... you learn how to use a weed whacker yet, Bill? No, hmm? no, I, that's one thing I've still got to learn. I haven't, I haven't closed on my house yet, so I'm a few, a few weeks away from weed whacking. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll let you borrow mine any time. It's gas powered and it outwhacks Alan's. I don't think it takes much to whack Allen. Hey, 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 hey. Well, thanks for calling. Okay. Bye-bye. All kinds of wackos on the phone here this morning. Who knows what's going to happen? Weed Got Whacker, of course, a copyrighted feature of Breakfast Bunch Incorporated. Details on the way on how you can be going to Hawaii to see George Michael. I got, uh, I got some more details on that. But right now, it's time for a little gold for gold action. I'm going to play this morning's solid gold goodie backwards one time. If you know what that well-known popular song is, call me now, 424-HITS or 1-800-26-BJ-105 and win a gift certificate to the Golden Diamond Source from BJ-105. We all know that tires ain't pretty, they don't smell good, they don't taste good. But I'm here to tell you about Popeye's Famous Chicken. It smells wonderful, and it tastes just scrumptious. Now, you listen to me good, because I'm going to save you some money. You know, Allied and Popeye's, we're in a swapping promotion. You go to Popeye's, and you get yourself a coupon. You take that to Allied, and Allied will give you $10 off on already the lowest prices in Florida on two tires, $25 on four tires, or any other service. Now, you get a coupon from Allied. You go to Popeye's. That's got two pieces of chicken and a biscuit for a buck eighty-eight. Now you buy one, you get one free. If you buy twenty, you get twenty more free. What do you think of that? Now you know everybody says, you know, what come first, the chicken or the tire? Anyway, you go to Allied Discount Chicken, or you go to Popeye's Famous Tires. <laughs> you know that ain't right, but you know what I mean. Allied Discount Tires. Pop. Karen Sheldon. BJ one hundred and five. Hi, Salad Gold Goody. Hi. Is it every breath you take? Every breath you take? Yes! You're right! Yay! Who is it? 
Eloise. Hi, Eloise. You calling us from where this morning? Okay. You got yourself a BJ105 gift certificate to the Golden Diamond Source. In Apopka, Eloise Beach, what radio station is good as gold? DJ 105, the number one hit music station. Every you take. BJ 105, would you like to take a little Hawaiian holiday? Oh, yeah, sure, yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. I thought you would. I got details on the way next here at BJ 105. Billy Ocean on BJ 105, inviting you into his automobile. 24 past the hour of 8 o'clock with Bill and Alan, the BJ 105 breakfast bunch. A little earlier, we announced some more details in our George Michael Hawaiian getaway. This is great. Mm -hmm. The most exotic concert trip yet from BJ 105. Now, George Michael is going to be live in Hawaii, and you could be his special guest. We'll oh put boy. you up in a first-class Waikiki resort for one week of parties, music, and fun in the sun. And then Tuesday, April 5th, you're going to be special VIP guests of CBS Records when George Michael plays live in Honolulu, Hawaii. And, Bill, it's it's so easy to win. It is so easy. How do you win? How do you win? How do you win? How do you win? You just keep listening to BJ105 for more details. Ooh. Your chance to go to Hawaii and see George Michael live. Oh, thank you for the enlightenment. You're welcome. It's 825 right now with The Bunch. Breakfast bunch, that is, on BJ 105. It's 825. You know, you practice a line too many times, and just once it may come out all wrong. This happened to President Reagan yesterday when he visited the University of Notre Dame. That, of course, is the scene for one of Reagan's more memorable movie roles in Newt Rockney All-American. Reagan played the football star George Gipp, the Gipper. But when Reagan got to the end of his speech and he was quoting the famous line from the film... It came out, win just one for the gibbet. Take two. You check the dictionary, a gibbet is actually a gallows. Ooh. Be Ooh. <laughs> Baseball buff Bob Graham is going to work as equipment manager for the Boston Red Sox this Saturday when the team plays an exhibition game at Kissimmee against the Astros. It will be for Bob Graham his 215th work day. <clears throat> And uh, let's see, how many work days is this for you, Karen? 100 jillion. 100 jillion, a new record, thank you. 826 at BJ 105. School violence is in today's news. Four high school students, and it's 831. All right, all you punks, it's Clint Eastwood. It's a double A Thursday, meeting uh, the breakfast bunch on BJ 105. So get up and break out the Mr. Potato Head. She's like the wind. Through my tree. Howdy to our buddies over at Heathrow. What a bunch for lunch we had yesterday with these dudes. Yeah. BT Bones. We went to the BT Bones in Altamont. Great. The champagne was out again. The champagne was flowing freely. Valerie. You love champagne. Yeah. And Maria. And Sonia. Sonia. And Jay. And Joy. The whole gang. And unfortunately for, for Richard... Richard was there from the office at Heathrow, mm -hmm. dressed to the nines for one reason and one reason only. And that, of course, to meet our femme fatale, Karen Sheldon. And he was oh, so disappointed. No. And I know what you like. Yeah. You would have liked Richard. Oh, really? Dressed to the teeth. Tell me how he was dressed. All right. He had a charcoal gray. Uh-huh. That's good. I like a that. charcoal gray cut suit. It's kind of tapered, you know, so... It, it, regular it, suit, long jacket, short jacket. Regular, regular jacket length, but like uh -huh. I said, it was tapered. Uh -huh. and then did he pink, have the body to wear a tapered yes. jacket? Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. And then he had the pink tie. The pink tie. The pink tie. What kind a, of shirt? Um, I believe it was a striped, a uh, pinstripe. Ooh. I wasn't looking at Richard as closely as you were, this? Bill. I, I don't know. Uh, oh, man. Did he wear suspenders? I couldn't tell. I wasn't going to get well, in. Well, was he wearing I wasn't a belt? that deep. I didn't, you know, I wasn't staring that low either when I looked at the guy. Mm. You have to understand how my mind works. Karen. I'm very sorry I missed that. So is he. He got himself all duded up Aww. just for you. Mustache. Well, Richard, thank you. Mustache? Yeah, dark hair. Ooh. Yeah. Well, He's over at Heathrow. Richard and all the gang, despite Karen's absence, had a great time oh, at yeah. BT Bones. It's Bunch for Lunch. If you want to get your office in, just write us on Company Stationery to BJ105 Bunch for Lunch, P.O. Box 8105, Winter Park, 32790. What's that zip code? 
three two seven nine zero. Thank you. Phone mm. calls still coming in here on this. Uh, we found one of our phone calls on an album that's being sold in New York. It's called the Z one hundred Morning Zoo Greatest Hits Volume Three. It's from a radio station in New York City. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's the number one radio station in the number one market, and uh, they used one of our Make Your Dog Bark and Win phone calls on the air, and then apparently they gave us credit for it. Now, somebody said they were up in New York and they heard Shannon talking about us, saying we're one of the premier morning shows in America. And that yeah, Scott that's where Shannon, they got the idea Scott from. Shannon being the morning host on the show there. And uh, I, I'm still getting some calls from people who aren't taking us seriously. Hi, BJ. Are y'all serious about that dog bark thing, or did y'all make that up? No, we, I'm not making anything up. This is, a, this is an album on Arister Records. It's called Z100, the Z100 Morning Zoo Greatest Hits, Volume 3. You can only pick it up around the uh, New York area, and it's just bits, you know, from the morning zoo. Well, wouldn't they have had to have gotten the uh, tape of y'all's morning show? Isn't that correct? For them to get the same exact... Yes. Huh. Yes, they would have. Yes, because it is the same exact phone call. And, and if you just are waking up and don't know what's going on, on the Z100 Morning Zoo Greatest Hits Volume 3 is a phone call that aired in November of 86 right here on BJ105. And we're kind of curious as to how they wound up with our phone call. Right, yeah, I heard all that. Yeah, do you know who this Donnie Jones is? Do you know him? No, I wish I did. But we figure he's got some royalties coming or something. We'd sure like to find him. Donnie Jones uh, was the guy who's who's being used, and he's on this record. We'd like to get him a copy of the record, too. Okay, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't just a joke or something. No, no, we're going to be calling Shannon. We're going to find out what the heck the, the, the story is here. Great. Okay? Talk, talk to you later. Bye-bye. So that's it. If you know Donnie Jones, he called us in November of 1986. He's got a Shih Tzu as well as another dog, and we played Make Your Dog Bark and Win with him. He's a youngster, and uh, we'd like to get him at least a copy of the album. I don't know if he's due royalties or, or, or what here. So give us a call if you know him or if you are him. 424-HITS, 1-800-26-BJ-105, our numbers. It is clearing off as promised and getting cooler. We're at 62 at the beaches, 64 at BJ-105. Barbie Benton on page two of your Orlando Sentinel this morning. Boy, she looks nice. At 38 years old, she still looks terrific. Mm -hmm. She's talking about she's lending moral support to Hugh Hefner, oh. who's battling his uh, ex-live-in. Carrie Lee, she filed a $35 million palimony suit. Well, now, Hugh Hefner's answered back with a $1 million cross complaint. Yeah, now, here it is. Now, according to Barbie Benton and Shannon Tweed, two people who've lived with Hef, mm -hmm. okay, Barbie Benton says here, Hef treated me better than I imagine any woman has ever been treated. He made me feel like a queen. According to Shannon Tweed, did I think Hef would marry me? Certainly not. I don't expect him to marry anybody. And right now, he's shacked up with Miss January from the magazine, Kimberly Conrad, who's 25 years old. Well, that's the whole crux of uh, Carrie Lee's suit. She says uh, that Hefner reneged on promises wow. to support her, marry her, and father her child. I wonder if this whole thing is going to be decided by Judge Wapner. And now it's time for Playboy's Court with the Honorable Judge Whopper. Hello again, I'm Doug Suellen, and welcome to the Playboy's Court, where Judge Whopper today will hear the case of Bunny Money. Meet defendant Hugh Hefner. He's 62, he's had a stroke, and he says he wants to go with a smile on his face and a snap in his shorts. And the plaintiff, Carrie Lee. She's 40, 24, 36, and wants $35 million. I'm Judge Whopper. I've read your complaints. State your name, young lady. Carrie Lee, Your Honor. Why do you think you deserve $35 million? I find for the plaintiff, Carrie Lee, $35 million. That's my decision. Well, Judge Whopper's wasted no time at all in making his decision, proving once again that bunny money is big money. Tune in next week when you'll hear Judge Whopper say... Oh, uh, why don't we discuss your case in my chambers, young lady? Certainly, Your Honor. So you've gotten involved with someone else? You said if I'd play along with your little game... U.S. citizenship required. What's AAA doing in the 2048? Breakfast bunch is fab. Sure enough, have got some soul now. Get funky, you white boys. BJ 105, the funky white boys are Bill and Allen. The BJ 105, breakfast bunch. Now, Bill, talk Karen, about are you a funky white chick or not? That's me, funky okay. white chick. Talk now, about funky. Now, you're dressed a little, well, I won't say nicer, but a little differently than usual. What? 
commenting on the fact I'm wearing a tie. This guy's guy got a tie on. I mean, the tie. It's an Yves Saint Laurent, too. Look at this. See? Do you? It's uh, a nice yeah. tie, but it doesn't exactly match your outfit. I was going to say, do you have a problem seeing colors? Like, are you colorblind? Well, you haven't you met Bill's wardrobe man, Stevie I, Wonder? I, I, <laughs> I get dressed in the dark. Does it? Apparently it so, yes. I thought it matched. Well, reds are very difficult, Bill. I mean, it's the reds. Cranberry. Yeah, they either have to be dyed in the same vat or you can't put them together. The, well, the what am two. I going to do? It's like a pink tie in a brown shirt. Not a, that's not a pink tie. Well, it depends on where you're going, yeah, let me Bill. drape it over the microphone here, see? That's not a pink tie. No. It has more pink in it it's than cranberry. your shirt does. Well, that's what makes it clash. Oh. See, well, the bottom line is they have to... Ooh, take to, it off, it's Bill. It's coming off. Now, I'll tell you off, what, okay? leave the tie and take off the shirt. How about that? Wait a minute. Can I give you a little fashion tip? Now, sure. with that shirt, if I was wearing that shirt... <laughs> what would, what would I'm you wear? I'm taking fashion funny, tips from Alan. If funny I were wearing with. that shirt, I'd hide in a closet. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks no. a lot. Seriously, though. Now, you've got a predominantly uh, sort of burgundy-colored right. shirt, and you've got, like, beige stripes and little blue pinstripes. Right. Yeah. Usually, you should pick out the color that's the least dominant in the shirt. Is that how it and works? And go with is that. that. Tip? So, pick out a blue tie to go with that. It's kind of a what purple. What do you think, Karen? So it's a really a purple. Let me see. I think I, that I like kind of Bill in those cheap Hawaiian shirts he wears all the time. Those are kind of my trademark. Yeah. Well, I, the reason I'm doing it is I'm going down <laughs> to, to, to make a, a, a short story long. The reason I'm doing all this is I'm going to the mayor's uh, youth employment meeting again. And I'm, you're wearing the that advisory tie? advisory council. Yes, I was going to. Not anymore. Well, wait a minute now. I'm not going to embarrass us. The tie does match the pen in your pocket, so put it back on. <laughs> See, that's why I wore it's it. A, it's a complete ensemble. Okay, listen, no. It's I got do, the flare pen and the Yves Saint Laurent tie. I do have to take off here, because we have the meeting, and it's oh, going to start at right. 10. So i got to go to the Mayor's Advisory Council. It's a big honor for BJ105 to have me on this committee. Be telling you about Yes. Be telling why? you about it. Well, for one thing, it gets me off the air an hour early, and you, know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys run the show without me. That's, that's a big reasons. honor for that's, us. Yeah. One of the big we things like that. So uh, the other thing is, we're, I'll tell you more about it. Super Tuesday, it's coming up. Super Saturdays or Super Thursdays. Or, I, it's it's, it's going to get people jobs, all right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dad, don't, don't confuse me with details. Don't get involved in the issues here. I've got time for one phone call before I go. Hi. Hey, I just wanted to tell you that was hysterical with Judge Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> I needed that. I'm, I'm sitting here with strep throat and tonsillitis, and I haven't had a laugh like that in so long. That was excellent. Well, thank you. Thank you for calling. All righty. Take care. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah, you think you got strep throat? Talk to Carrie Lee. But oh. seriously, uh, <laughs> I... I real I don't know what that means, so don't don't bother even calling and asking. Well, I'll, I'll see the rest of you guys tomorrow. We'll do the uh, the jokeathon, as it were. We'll have one hundred and five dollars for the best joke of the morning. Sonny will be here as usual, and Alan, you won't be here tomorrow. Will be your day to play hooky because you're going out to the Grand Cypress. That's right. I'll be uh, out there with the tennis champions and our tennis winners, selecting uh, the grand prize winner, who's going to have a trip to the U.S. Open. What do you say for choose your news coming up here? Another pair of BJ105 invitations Sounds to that good very to event. Ooh. See you guys all tomorrow. 8.55, BJ105 Breakfast Bunch. The rain has cleared off. It's clearing up, but it's getting cooler. 63 at the beaches, 64 here at BJ105.